How you doing? I hope you're all well. Um, back again. A bit of a long break. Uh, so maybe some of you have missed us a little bit, hopefully. Um, and we will uh, get back on the horse, as it were, and get the tutorials running to you twice a week. Uh, myself and Matthew, of course, and Jermaine on some occasions as well. We'd we'll love to join you. And so today we've got uh, a, a pretty little bracelet. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. It's quite a simple idea, but you can obviously take it where you will with your own ideas and colorways as well. We put uh, together a couple of kits for this one, which will be hmm, one's quite pale and soft and romantic, I'm going to say, with the pinks and creams. And then we've got the Mediterranean Sea, which, hmm, as you might imagine, it, it conjures up images of the lovely waves and sand and soft, soft. Oh, I don't know. Holidays, I suppose, is what it makes me feel. And it's all blues and pu beautiful soft colours. OK, so let's show you what I'm talking about. And then we'll uh, have a look at a bit more. So here we go. See, quite a simple design just to get us going, get me going back into the routine of bringing you some tutorials. And let's zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully your picture's quite clear for you. I've got it on a bit of white paper to so try and make the colours look better as well. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes not so much. So here we go. Let's just give it a little bit of movement so you can see all the sparkle coming from the crystals that we've used in here as well. We've got the glass pearls in this product and also the little seed beads. Um, this particular version I've ended with a seed bead style clasp. Um, obviously, if you don't get on with this style, you can change it for toggles. Um, magnetic clasp would work nicely as well if you, if you struggle doing the clasps up. And here we go. And we've just ended up with the free bead. So it gives you a little variety on how long you wear your bracelet. Okay. You could also adapt this one for necklaces as well. Uh, just carry on with the pattern. So that's. Uh, for a second so hopefully you're going to really like it um as always i'll show you we've got uh the website in the, in the background you can have a look out for the kits and say so there's two kits on there um, both kits have three strands of pearls a couple of strands of crystals a mixture of seed beads so you can really mix up your colors as well so in the demo piece i've got for you today is just in the pinks and the crystal, um, but if you wanted to, you could certainly mix the pattern up and use all three of the glass pearls. Um, as we work along, you'll see little elements of based in three pearls and three crystals, so you can see how you could mix up the colorways. Um, so there we go. So should we get going? And if you've got any questions, um, please pop in in the comments. Uh, it'd be lovely to hear from you. I can see a few names already popping up on my little list here. So it's really nice to see you all. Arena, missed your tutorials. Thank you very much, Arena. It's lovely to hear you on here. Um, Izzy, oh, near Aviemore. Oh, have you got any snow or is it all gone now? Uh, good afternoon all from Lorraine. Maxine's place. Hi, Joe. Hi, yeah. Uh, We've got Heather from Douglasville, GA, USA. It's a long way, isn't it? There we go, Shane. This is Auntie, Auntie Jermaine. Huh? A little yumper. Sorry, I've said that completely wrong. I've just moved my thing at the same time. Good evening, everyone. I've seen all your beadwork coming through on the uh, the Facebook page. It looks brilliant. I, you must bead constantly. Certainly get a lot more done than I do. And we've got uh, everyone who beads spider as well. Hey, looking forward to the first demo. I know it's exciting. It's nervous. Um, all the emotions mixed up. So here we go. Uh, let's make a start. So let's get you on the screen so you can see what's actually going on. Here we go. Right then. So today, simple project. Let's say we've done a bracelet on this one for you because obviously it's easier to show you, but you can see just by playing with the idea how you could adapt one of the components and then go up to make yourself a necklace. Okay, so just just bear that in mind when you're thinking about this, what you want to use it for. Um, so we've got our uh, speed spider on thread and 
it's possible to join as you go along so just work in a length that's comfortable for you to do so i'm going to be about yeah, about a meter that's probably about where i'm comfortable with much more than that and i get tangled around all my tools and computer and everything else going right. okay so i've got about a meter it's i've threaded it on so I think it's a size 10 needle which comes with your spider long thread. So you've always got a good, good supply of needles. Okay, so we're going to start. We can start either end. It really doesn't matter on this occasion. Um, I say if you were going to use a different type of clasp, you would just need to consider that probably if you do it at the end, just leave yourself a nice long towel thread and then you can change your mind on what type of clasp. So we're going to start with the element here and we're not going to worry about this bit until the end. OK, so let me bring that away out the screen for you. OK, so beads, simple. We've got the six mil beautiful little pearls and a glass pearl. We've got four mil little crystal rounds. It's so sparkly. They've got a like a crystal with an AB coating, these ones. And then we've got the little size 10 seed beads. And these are a nice pearly pink colour. Let's see if you can let's pop a few on the needle. We might be able to show the colour off a bit better. They're just beautiful. They've got a real soft, subtle sort of luster to them. Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to pop on one of the six mil pearls, one of the crystals, another pearl. I wouldn't believe I do a lot of beading, these things. It's on doing this TV stuff, but it just makes you nervous sometimes. Your hands start shaking and then the beads just don't behave for you. See? Simple, really. Just putting a needle for a little hole. Okay, so we've got the three beads in the pearls and we've got the three crystals. Okay, and just bring all those down. And like I say, if we leave a nice long towel, then we've got options how to, we how to finish off the end, either with the beaded loop, which I'll show you today, or you could put a clasp on there or a magnetic clasp or a toggle. So I'm just going to do a little overhand knot and pull that up. Just make sure the knot stays where you want it. And then two little hand knots in the opposite direction. Okay, and that's just to keep my beads nicely together in this nice little round we've got here. Now, this is essentially what you're going to be doing for this bracelet okay so i'm coming out of the pearl currently so what i'm going to do is just so i move away from where the knot is just bead through a few of the, the beads so i'll come out of this pearl here and then i'm just adding one size 10 and that's going to go between the pearl and the crystal. Okay. Another size 10, and that's going to go between this crystal and this pearl. And we're going to do that, repeat that pattern all the way around. That just adds a little bit of interest to your little element, or your motif, that's a better word. And also by going round the circle of beads again, it does firm it up a little bit. So we don't end up with a floppy, floppy bracelet. Just carry on all the way round. We've got some more hellos and good mornings from various parts of the world. Thank you ever so much guys for tuning in. Heather says, don't be nervous. We haven't bitten anyone ever. <laughs> that's, that's good to know. There we go. So we'll go around. So what do you think of the nail varnish colour? Is it a bit too much for here? A bit too distracting? I'm not sure. It, it didn't look that bright in the nail varnish jar. 
but once I'd done it, it was it was, uh, it was on, and that was that. And it's got like an opal-y look with the little glitter inclusions as well, so it's quite cool. Anyway, so we've gone all the way around. I've gone around again. I'm now exiting from one of the pearls. Okay, and this is where we add on our next section. So now we're going to say we've already got our pearl here. We're going to add a crystal. Another pearl, another crystal, another pearl. Get them all on the needle then. Slide onto the thread. Another crystal. Um, we've already got the pearl in place, so we're literally going back through the other end of the pearl and back out again. Okay. So that gives us our little second set of three. So this is where the name comes from, figure of eight. So if I pop that down. There you go. You can see that's your figure of eight. So if you've got that shape, you're doing well. And you can see, obviously, there's lots of alternative things you could do at this point. Go on a little journey and make your own pattern up. So we've gone all the way around here and we come out to this pearl here. OK, now this is where we're going to add. <coughs> excuse me. Particularly for it then. OK. So I'm going to pop through the crystal next to that first pearl. And this is where I'm going to start adding the seed beads again. OK, so just pop them in between each of the pearls and the crystals. And again, this is extra decoration. This helps hold everything together a little bit firmer. Because you've now got two runs of thread around the middle. You could go round again, have three, three rounds of thread in there. Um, I think two works really well. Put on another seed bead, run it through the crystal. Um, there we go. Heather says, oh, I love your polish. Thank you very much. A purple penny, I love the nail polish. Good. Help to highlight the moves. Oh, good. Well, I don't think I'll be beading so far, it'll be a blur of uh, varnish, so it should be all right. Okay, and hopefully you can all see the demo, okay? Let me know if there's a problem. All right, so there's our figure of eight. We've gone round and we're coming out that first pearl in the second section. So now I want to come round and come out into one of these, these pearls, okay? So for the first bit, it doesn't matter which one you pick. But I'm going to pick the first one because it's the quickest to get to. OK. And when I'm coming out of that pearl, I don't want to go into the seed bead that's there, OK? So I'm just coming out of that first. So I've gone all the way around, all the way around again, adding the seed beads back through and coming out of this top pearl. So there's my little figure of eight, just sat there. It's not, been, it's not too bad on the picture, is it? OK, so now essentially adding a figure of eight onto this cluster, but it's going to start from this pearl here. Let's grab a few more pearls. Crystals here. I don't want to put them all on the mat because knowing me, I'll knock this bit of the beading fibre and I will have them all over the floor. OK, so I'm going to be working in an anti-clockwise. If you don't get on with that, just turn your beadwork over and then you can carry on clockwise, So, which, whichever you prefer. So add a crystal, add a pearl, add another crystal, add another pearl, and third crystal. OK, let them run down the thread. And then this pearl I'm exiting from here. They go into the other end, so the thread runs in the same direction. And pop the needle all the way through. Avoid picking up that seed bead as well. Because it's in line with the pearl, the, um, the needle will quite easily go into it. OK, so that's that bit there. Again, pop into the crystal. Now, what I've done, uh, generally all the way around, we have to pull uh, a seed bead in between each 
little segment between crystal and pearl because here it's just an additional loop we've already got a seed bead sat there so visually it doesn't need another one in there uh, you might find that it might look quite pretty to have a couple of in there have a little cluster of them it would make every all the other beadwork sit slightly differently i think it would be quite good fun so here we go let's pop around the next little little cluster here adding our seed beads in between so here we go there we go so with the kits you get three strands of the pearls and two strands of the crystals um, beautiful colors like i was saying this is where you could choose to use different pearls and different crystals or just change the pearls out and use three different colors so you could have one little cluster one color that one i would then keep separate as a different color and then i would use the next little cluster of three as the third color so you would always have one odd one as it were um, but you'd have different segments of color as it went around so just adding this last seed bead so go through the crystal okay and i just need to tighten it up you can see i've got a bit of loose, loose thread going through the middle here so through that last pearl And of course, if you happen to go for both bundles today, you'd have six strands of pearls. You could absolutely go crazy with your colour ideas. That would be really nice. OK, so now I'm just beading round. doesn't matter while you're doing your beading round if you go through the little seed beads or don't go through them. It's fine. It's the bigger beads that we're looking to um, give a little bit more weight to with the thread. OK. So you can sort of see if I pop it down for a second and uh, zoom in a little bit. There we go. There we are. So that's our original sort of figure eight just sat there. And then if you take that one off, you've got another little figure eight here. OK, so this is where you start developing your little uh, zigzag. OK, so let's match that one. So it's easier for you guys to see so that's the original piece that's the one in the middle and that's the one we've just done now okay so to follow the pattern on i'm going to be this thread is coming out of this top bead here okay which is this bead here on this bracelet okay so let's do a couple more it's quite a nice uh relaxing little project this one say so i think the fun's going to begin once you start playing with the colors with this one so out of the pearl add your crystal add one pearl add one crystal okay another pearl third crystal okay so every time you do a segment apart from the original one these ones are always going to be adding the two pearls and three crystals and say whichever way you prefer so i prefer to work that way so i'm going to turn my beadwork upside down so i can come up through there and pull them together so you can see that pattern's just starting to happen now with a zigzag okay so out of the pearl through the crystal And all the time we're doing this, we're always kind of thinking, what if, what if I added this bead? What if I did that? So I'm, I'm thinking at the moment, well, if I went round to secure the loop three or four times, say I could add a different colour seed bead if I wanted between all these gaps. Yes, it would bulk it up a little bit, but you'd get really nice colours. You could keep the same seed bead. Um, I think it'd be quite good fun to add different colour seed beads in there. beads back in the shot there we go so add your seed bead between the crystals and the pearls crystal and the pearls okay 
And again, we're not going to worry about adding a seed bead in between this one because effectively that one visually, that one's already in place. Back through the pearl. As always, just make sure your, your thread's not getting caught in the other beads as you pull, pull it through. That's with the pearl there. And I've just pulled my thread off my needle. That happens a lot. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that. So let's just have a quick thread back up. Right. I'll do one more segment, I think, and then maybe two, do we think? So we're coming down on this zigzag here. Um, is that a bit too... That again, okay. Coming down, okay. So this time I'm going to be bringing my beadwork through here like i say i will turn it over because i find it easier to work clockwise for whatever reason and we'll do another one or two and then i'll show you about putting the uh, loops and the clasps all on there we go let's just spin it over so it's at runaway crystal set <clears throat> so how's the weather for everyone today we've actually had uh, a bit of a frosty start but it's blue skies and a bit of sunshine today which has been absolutely lovely okay through that pearl out the top Making your next little segment. And uh, Heather says, frame the crystals with seed beads. Absolutely. Yep. You could uh, pop um Let's have a look. Let's do that, Heather. I'd like to play. Yeah. So what we could do here is as we're exiting from this little crystal here, we could pop on. I was going to say it's going to be about three, maybe four seed beads. So you'd be looking to come out of this side, go all the way round like a halo, and back down the other side. So let's have a look, shall we? Let's see what that looks like. I shall try four. Let's see what four looks like. There we go. Tighten it all up a little bit. Okay, so that would be quite pretty. So you could halo them. You could then go on to halo one of the pearls because otherwise the next, that one there would work with a little halo around it and that one over there would work with a little halo because otherwise it would be interfering with the middle if you did all of them. But that's, you know, that's quite a pretty idea. If you could do that, you don't like it, or you're not sure about it, or not put enough beads on. Come back through, and like we always say, take your needle off because what happens invariably you go through the thread where you don't want to go through the thread, which is what just happened there. So, if you're going to do some unbeading, it's best to take the needle off. Okay, let's see if we can pop this back on again. I think I've reached that age where, or maybe just a stage. I might need to wear glasses. I've got some for when I've had a long day on the computer and I need to get tired eyes. I've got some for that. They're not very strong, but I'm starting to find maybe I need them a little bit more for when I do beading these days. I think now I've started using them, I seem to need them more. There we go. Oh, we got it. Yeah, it's so sunny here in New Hampshire. 
Very nice. We got Julie. Hi, everyone from Colorado. Cool. We've got uh, what else is going on? Donna says sunshine here was in the 60s yesterday and supposed to be so today. Oh, very nice. Um, purple penny, frosty start here in Banbury. Not far from me then, really. An hour and a bit. Then bright and sunny, just a few clouds now. Sunny, uh, yesterday was so sunny, I was able to dry the line on, washing on the line. <laughs> wow. I haven't got my washing line up at the moment, a bit. Put it up on the air in the house. It seems a bit of work. I don't have to go out and get it back in again at night. So there we go. We'll finish that little loop. So again, back up into the first pearl of that little segment. Gal says, it's great that you are also teaching design. Thank you girl I'd, I'd like i like to think yes following tutorials and patterns is absolutely excellent certainly if you've never beaded or you're very new to beading it's it's helpful to have that in front of you because sometimes reading instructions and even looking at pictures um doesn't always explain quite what's going on sometimes seeing it is better but i like to sort of design as as I play with the beads, I'm not one that sits down and draws a design. I might have an idea in my head of colours I want to use um, or even a, a pattern in my mind of how I want the beads to sit. But there's nothing fixed usually in my mind as to how something's going to turn out. Um, I'm very much influenced by enjoying colour and texture. Um, so even on the some occasions, you know, I, I belong to a beading group, which is the show beaders, and we have tutors all a few times a year that come in and teach, and, and they are absolutely amazing people. And it's lovely to watch another beader show how, the, how they design and think about design and learn different skills. But... Um, I I very rarely can follow a pattern, to be fair. I, I do tend to go off from my own little world. I think about, or maybe I just get bored with the pattern, I'm not sure. Who knows? But uh, my brain always seems to be thinking, well, what if I do this? What if I do that? And with beads, you can just do it. You're not wasting anything. If it turns out into a big, massive, beady mess, you just unbead it cut the thread you've not lost the beads you don't throw beads away um, you can sit there and quite happily silk the beads back out into their original little piles of beads which i find quite therapeutic anyway and i don't have a problem with that if you're not into sorting your beads maybe you just have a little pot that you put all your spare beads into when you cut a project open but you'll learn along the way um, how how you like to design and how you like to use colour and texture is important in beadwork as well as the colour. Movement is another thing to think about. Um, obviously how something sits against the skin, how it moves against the skin is another important thing to think about. Um, adjustability because you might have your absolute favourite necklace but if you've not allowed yourself some adjustment on length for example you will want to wear it differently with different outfits you might want it longer or shorter for a different top or a t-shirt or a dress but by giving yourself an option when you design the finish of it the clasp end will mean you've got that ability to wear it longer or add another length of chain to the end so you can wear a really long necklace okay so here we go so we've got a couple of uh, bits here it's just zoom in a little bit for you so we've got a three figure eights essentially sat there all together so you've got one two and three okay if i bring the other piece back in for a moment okay so you can kind of see there's the figure eight so the whole bracelet in total 
is on this particular one is nine sections or nine figure eights okay and for the clasp i've had say this little loop which we'll go through in just a moment at the other end i've got the little towel with the glass pearls adding they give you the option to go through the loop and you can obviously stall at different points depending upon how long you want it all right so in this bracelet i've made for the demo purpose it's um if your loop was attached at the first section here it's a six and a half inch bracelet or 16 and a half centimeters if it's in the middle linkage here there's seven inch or just under 18 centimeters if it joins in here it's about a seven and a half inch which is 19 centimeters roughly speaking okay this bracelet takes uh, i think i counted 37 pearls plus three for the towel and it was 53 crystals with one for the towel just at the end for that little bit of sparkle okay and then seed beads you're not really using many at all and say unless you want to elaborate and do a little halo as suggested earlier and then they make you know you can really go to town on decorating all the, those little pearls there okay so let's go back and have a work on the the ending for you and oh, i was also going to say obviously you, you could end if you've got a tiny wrist or you want a bigger you can adjust where your class will go now i'm purposely going to have mine coming from this pearl here and if you envisage that straight line through the middle of that row of pearls that would be my other end for the clasp at this end so one slightly high and one is slightly low okay and the way to get around that is when we come to this part is that's my high pearl there okay so i'm making my seed beads come around that pearl and then another row of seed beads coming over this crystal and then i bring my loop off of there if you're going to put them a toggle clasp on you might do this at the same time but then just have a loop of seed beads here for your clasp to attach to you could either attach it straight to the thread or have a jump ring so, and again at this end this will be the lower pearl because we've used the higher pearl on the other side the seed beads top and bottom to give you a center point and then your towel comes from the center point okay so hopefully that makes some sense so what should we start with let's start with the tower okay so we're saying this is the low point the pearl here and there's the crystal because my thread's coming out of that direction i'm going to go and do the crystal part first okay so pop the needle up through the crystal got a few more little seed beads ready and um, when i worked this out it was about uh, five seed beads around the crystal about five here to get a center point and then three seed beads and then the pearl and then the rest of the tail obviously you can make the towel as long as you you would like it so let's just pop on some seed beads one two three one five okay so i pop them on my needle i'm coming out of this crystal just here okay and then i'm going to pop in through that seed bead there and come out of the pearl at this bottom end okay i'll go add another five seed beads And then I'm going to come back and pick up or put my needle through. I want to go through all these seed beads again just to secure it. But I'm actually picking up the last one I added in that first section. So I'm ignoring this one that's attached to my little bead unit here. All right. And I'm going to go in to that one that was just added and run my needle along. I want to run my needle along the other five, all of them. So I've got all five of that original. 
Okay. We'll just bring that all together. Okay. Back through the crystal. You'll get multiple passes through these crystals and the pearls. They've got quite a generous, generous space there. I'm going to run through the little seed bead in the middle of that crystal and pearl. And again, come back around and go up five. There's three of them. Oh, and we've done the thing, the needle and the thread again. Always work with a nice long piece of thread. I say if I was carrying on with the whole bracelet, I would have tied this off reasonably soon and added a whole new fresh piece. OK, so back to this piece. So we're coming out of the pearl. We're running up the five. Five seed beads, if you can get them all in one go, that's great. If not, just get well, that score there into the fifth. Okay. okay, so this is the middle of the beads we've just added. Now this is where we start our tail. So we're just going to add three seed beads, one pearl, three seed beads, one pearl, Three seed beads and one pearl. Um, and we've got what size pearls and crystals did you use from Elaine? So they were size six mil pearls, Elaine, and the crystals are a four mil faceted. The crystal, okay, and yeah, we can interchange quite a few different things with this this pattern. Sarah, thank you, Sarah, for tuning in. Uh, made it for last half hour. Nice house. Thank you very much. It's lovely to see you there. Yeah, please comment in. If you got any other suggestions for designs that are coming off of, off of what you're seeing, very nice to hear from you. There we go, three seed beads, and this is where I put the crystal now. If you want a longer towel, just keep going, um, add a few more of your pearls and have the little interchange, which is where once you've done the other end of your bracelet, this is the loop that the pearls will go into. Okay. So you can have this towel as long as you like. If you like to have something to hold on to while you're connecting, you know, you've got your bracelet wrapped around here and you're trying to pull it to connect it, it's sometimes easier to have a longer tail to hold on to. Okay, and on the end here, we're just adding that one little seed bead, which effectively is a stock bead. And we're going to take our needle, we're going to move that little glass seed bead out the way. We're going to take our needle and run it all the way back down through the crystals, the pearls, the seed beads. And you might do it in one go. If not, just pull your needle through and pop it down through the last few seed beads there. There we go. Okay. And then try not to let your thread come out your needle. And then just give it a snug fit. If you just hold on to that little end seed bead and give your needle a pull in that direction and the seed beads are pulled in this direction, you should get a nice firm fixture up here. OK, what I would do at this point, I would actually strengthen this link. I would be beading round here, back up, back down, round here, back up, back down, at least three times, I would say, because there's going to be quite a lot of stress put on that when you're putting it on and off, um, because our loop will be quite tight for the first few times you wear it. It will loosen over a bit of time, so you want to do it quite tight to start with. And but you've got a bit of flex with the spider on, which is what you need. And okay. And what I would do then without my needle coming off again, 
is just tie this thread into here once you know that is nice and secure okay so that's that's that end for you this end again we've left our nice little towel of thread i'm going to pop my needle back on at this end so hopefully you guys can all uh, see what possibilities there are with this design it's uh, so it's simple um but it's pretty and it's certainly got a lot of scope for uh, where you can take it with your your own ideas um, and like i say if you mix it with the different colors in the kits that are available with this one it's going to be an endless you could have a complete rainbow going on okay so this time i'm looking at my straight line of pearls here so i want to be using this one here as my my starting point now at the moment my thread is coming out down through this crystal and i need to be up at this pearl so i don't want to go backwards and only end up with one thread through that center so just take your needle and thread all the way around again it would help tighten it up anyway so back through the crystals the pearls Okay, uh, Elaine says, what's the name of the bracelet? I can look later. It says figure eight, this one. So if you go on the website, um, which we'll have a little tour in a moment, when we've got to the end of this, um, there's the figure eight bracelet kit, and you can follow the line and it will show you the kit, two kits available with the different colorways. And Matthew also adds on all the all the extra bits that you might be inclined to buy to go with it different color options that are available um i'd say it would be great fun to mix up the colors so i'm popping five seed beads on this end as well so I, I always like to make both ends the same where possible and i'm going to come out of this pearl here and i'm going to go around this crystal and Oh, I'm going to go back around the pole first. Makes more sense. Okay, so that's around the pole. Through the seed bead in the middle, out through the crystal. Okay, I don't want to pick up this seed bead at this end. Okay, now if your needle wants to go that way, let it go that way. And then just go back through that seed bead so you pop back out and try not to put the needle through the thread in the middle okay so there we go it's out there add another five little seed beads okay and again i don't want to come in this section i want to come back up and bead through these so i've got my five needles on five needles <laughs> And my fridge trying to come out let's grab that quick there we go caught that one five seed beads on there back through round into those seed beads all the way round gathered up and that just reinforces this little connector section as well okay back into the pearl Go through the middle seed bead, out through the crystal again. See, so that time it didn't pick up the seed bead. Yeah. Note to self, use a longer thread. Just as well, these needles are quite nice and easy to thread, isn't it? It'd be boring watching that. Okay, so now I just want to count round to five. So we've got three there through the seed beads. Needle back in and grab the last two there one and two okay pull your thread through so that's five seed beads we've got five that side so that brings us to that center line okay now for the loop itself i'm going to add three seed beads okay so that matches the other end 
that that's the only reason I'm doing that bit there. That matches that free at that end. Okay, and now for the loop itself, and for the six mil glass pearl, um, I work this one out for a nice sort of tension and feel to it. It was 14 seed beads at this point. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And four more. So we've got our 14 seed beads. Let them run down. Okay. So we'll just pair back so we can see those original three. There's 14 on here. And then I'd run back down through those three there. Okay. And then we've got our little loop. Okay. What I would then do is bring my needle. This is the bead that would come out through this gap here. So now I'm just going to run through one of those seed beads. Okay. And then I can go back up and reinforce all that loop. So I go up through the three at the start. Okay. Now I've not got much thread left here. Uh, what I will then do is run all the way back around that loop. So let's just pop that in there. Forgive me if my needle and thread part company again. Just turn it over so I'm working. My needle works away from me. I find that just a bit easier. I've probably got less hands in the way of the camera doing it that way as well. So there we are, we've just gone round our loop. All right. So I'm just coming out of that little seed bead in there. You can see that. Now this time, instead of coming down the, the free, the stick part of the loop, if you like, I would then take my needle and thread and go all the way around the loop. So you're actually forming a separate loop from the stem itself. Also giving you extra strength in this loop because the first few times, like I say, it's going to be quite tight going over those little glass pearls, which is what you want. You don't want your bracelet coming off when you're wearing it or dancing the light fantastic. Knock someone out with your bracelet flying off across the dance room. You don't want that. Here we go, let's pop this back on again. There we go. I must have jinxed myself earlier by saying about it being easy to thread. Okay, so I'm coming out of that top seed bead there, so I just want to carry on threading down. Now this time, because I've already gone around the loop on its own, I can go back down through the stem. I dare say it's got a proper jewellery name, but we're going to call stem. Okay, and then to finish off, I would just bring your needle and thread all the way back around a couple of times just to secure it up and then tie it off with a little knot. Okay, so oh, it's a dainty little bracelet, that one, wasn't it? So, let's bring the other one back in for you. Here we go. So just have a play with it. Add small beads, change the colours. I think you could the centre row of beads in one colour and then maybe these in alternate colours would look really good as well. So your brain never really stops thinking about what, what you could do with it. It's just the time usually that gets in the way. And um, that is your little bracelet. So I hope you really like that. I think it's a great one to do, a little bit of fun. And of course, you could change up the crystals as well. You could add more little, little small pearls in there if you're not so keen on the sparkle. Um, I don't know who wouldn't be. But, uh, you might add, you know, you might change every one of these into um, a four mil pearl, for example. That would look pretty as well. Okay. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, everyone. That's a comment in there.
I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, any comments? If you got a bit lost, if not explained something quite right, just uh, give, give me a shout, message me in, let me know. Um, I'll try and do better next time. So hopefully you're all enjoying that. Um, so, yeah, let's go and have a look at our website and things, because I think, you know, it's good to know all the work that goes in the background, putting all these things together. Um, it's nice to see everything there. So here's the website. Okay, guys. And uh, have a scoot round. You can watch a tutorial again. If you click onto it, this is where you get to see all the products. Here's the two kits. So we've got the purple version, which is the Highland Hues. It's a figure eight bracelet. And don't forget, you just doesn't have to be just a bracelet you can adapt it and make a necklace out of it um just use a, one of the pearls in a slightly different place to make the v at the front of the necklace and then to go up the other arm and it would look really pretty um if anyone does that show us a picture that'd be really good to see uh the blue option these beautiful colors uh, is the mediterranean sea Okay, so you can see the prices are really, really good uh, for what you're getting. It's brilliant. It's got fourteen fifty five for the purple, fourteen thirty for the blue, and that get them both together, you get an extra fifteen percent discount. And if you don't use them for this project, you're certainly going to use all these types of beads for other projects. They're so interchangeable with different things. So, and also keep scrolling down, and there's all the other beads there. That we think you might like you think would work well with this project um of course there's thousands of other beads on the site all you need to do is just have a have a good look around see what you think you know roughly what is in your mind as to what you want to see and how you want your bracelet to look uh, maybe you want to go more purples or darker try and match my top you yeah. uh, hence the nail varnish i thought i'd try and match the uh the new top a bit have some blue in life not just purple all the time so there we go hopefully you really enjoyed that and uh let me know see what you think we'll come up with some more ideas for you we've got another uh, tutorial of planned uh, next tuesday matthew will be back on on friday um go and do some shopping treat yourself and then when your beads arrive, you can have a good play. Watch the tutorial back again if you need those little hints and tips. Um, as I mentioned that part of it, all the measurements that you can do for the bracelet, hopefully that can help you out if you'd rather than sit there and try and work it out yourself, which I'm sure you're more than capable of. Sometimes we all need a little helping hand. Um, as I say, get in touch if there's any, any issues. And we've got a few... Uh, I'm going to go and try the clasp design and see how that works for you. Yeah, let's see the, the clasp design. If I just uh, pop back to that. It really is one of the most most simple. So you've got the little crystal which just leads, leads you into the loop and gives you something to hold on to, which is why you want to reinforce this a few times with your thread. And then the little loop will go over those beads and like I say it will be tight to start with because you do not want that just coming off and that's on the the last one so you can see if you had a really nice long tail you could even add a tassel to the tail as long as whatever you do add can go through this loop you know that's fine and once you've used it a few times this little loop will become a little bit softer slightly easier but you don't want it to go really floppy just there we go, and that's all the way up to the top. All right, so a really pretty, pretty bracelet. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. And it's, it's been fun being back on here. I can't say how nervous I was beforehand. We're making sure the uh, technical stuff in the background works because that's certainly not my uh, cup of tea all up there. Um, Elaine says, Mike, give this a whirl. Thank you. Brilliant, Elaine. Yeah, absolutely. Give it a go. It's a fun one. It is. Lovely bracelet. Sarah says, so pretty and a great tutorial. Thank you very much, sir. Lovely to see you. And we have Arena. 
it's just disappeared. Here we go. Thanks. We'll definitely be doing this as a necklace in purple tone. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. I've got to see that. I'd love to see the purple version. We like purple. Oh, I'll have to try and remember next Tuesday. Well, what you can do is, if I find the right button, you can like and subscribe and you'll get little messages pop up here there and everywhere reminding you that we're coming live and you know just in case you forget it's easy life gets in the way of all this uh, stuff we have going on in our lives and sometimes a little tutorial is all you need at the end of a working day to sit down cup of tea and have it all ready for you so anyway thank you guys for joining me and we shall see you all very very soon with some new designs. Thank you.